caught in the crossfire. What's up, everybody? Trippin' Ain't Easy back here at New Realm Brewing today. We're gonna go in here and check this place out. Little brewery used to be Green Flash, but uh, this place bought it out from them. Uh, as you can see behind them, we got this giant beer garden. It goes all the way over here, all the way back there. Dog friendly, lots of little games, tables, fire pits, tons of them. I don't know if you can see them in the background, but they also have a restaurant in here too. So we're gonna go in here and grab something to eat and uh, take you along with us. Let's go. So here we are inside. I hope you can hear me. They got the music. It's kind of loud in here, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, lots of beers, as you can see. Tons of beers. This is just a beer, a beer list. They have a whole wall of them over there behind us. Uh, as you can see back here, you, they have the, the actual brewery that you can kind of look into. So they've got uh, they've got their cores, like their, their, their core beers that they brew all the time. They got seltzers, um, IPAs, sours, porters, lagers. Um, Belgians, German beers, barrel aged. Actually, we got some pretty good ones looking like there. I might, uh, might grab one of these barrel aged ones if they have them. The uh, rum barrel aged Doomsday Hound. I might, I might get that one. That sounds pretty good. Uh, cider. They do have a cider. The, the wife is very big fan of ciders. So they have an inkjet. So that might be. That might sound good for her. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty nice, pretty place. We came here one time uh, for New Year's. We had like a New Year's gig where it was like all inclusive, all you can eat, all you can drink kind of thing. So that was kind of cool. Uh, they had the outside open. It was a little cold, but they had the outside open fire pits going. All right, so let's check out the menu here. So as far as they have appetizers, they've got entrees, and they have desserts. So as far as the appetizers goes, um, the cheapest appetizer we've got here is a uh, green salad that's eight bucks and the most expensive appetizer that we've got here is the looks like the baked maryland crab dip at fifteen dollars that's got red peppers cream cheese and pita chips so uh, they, they range anywhere from eight to uh, fifteen dollars they've got some ceviche fries meatballs uh, mac and cheese pretzels tacos wings uh, as far as our entrees go those range anywhere from, I guess, you know, the, the, the tomato bisque, we count that one as an entree, that's $7. So from $7 all the way up to $18 for their half chicken. And uh, they have Wagyu burgers, they've got turkey uh, sandwiches, Cuban sandwiches. And as far as sweets go, if you're a sweet person, they've got milkshakes, bread pudding, s'mores, and those are around $5 to $7.50. So, not too, uh, not too expensive here. And then plus you've got, you know, a bunch of, bunch of locally made beer right here in the back, which is probably pretty good. Uh, hours as of right now, as of filming this, Sunday 12 to 8, Monday to Thursday 2 to 9, and Friday to Saturday 12 to 10. And we will link them down below as well, just in case you want to look and maybe check out their menu yourself. We're going to link those down below as usual. But there's a little, little view of the menu there. Yeah, so they have a um, they have a rewards program too here, which is kind of cool. You sign up with the app there. I don't want to get that too close to the camera because it might pick up the QR code and uh, stop the recording. That would suck. So yeah, this I'll actually I'll cover it and then I'll show it to you. Here we go. So yeah, they have a little 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 sign up there, so you can sign up. And they have the menus on the back as well, so you can sign up for there. But they give you a paper one as well. So. You, or, uh, you get uh, rewards. I'm not sure what their actual rewards are, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's the first time I've seen a brewery do that. Some other ones might do it in the area, but this is the first time I've actually seen it. Yeah, this would be a really nice place to come like when it's hotter outside. Like right now, I think people are just jonesing for that outdoor weather because they're out here and it's, it's in the 60s. But yesterday probably would have been a really good time to come here because it was nice, nice and warm upper 70s. But yeah, during the summer, definitely would recommend coming here, hanging out, playing some cornhole, or sitting by the fire. They have a giant outdoor bar as well that serves all their beer. Yep. This is the, of course, the wood, the wooded. I keep wanting to say Woodford Reserve because this is the Woodford Reserve uh, whiskey. 
So this is the Wooden Reserve Rum Barrel Age Doomsday. Um, let's see. Barrel aging, rum spice, mild oak. So there's that right there. Pretty good. This is the 10 ounce pour, which costs uh, $9 as of right as of this video right now. You can also do a 32 ounce growler of it for $25 or a 5 ounce taster for $4.50. And this is the wife's inkjet. Blackberry Mojito masqueraded as a cider. And you got the 14 ounce pour, so that was $7.50. You can get a 5 ounce taster for $3.50 and a 32 ounce growler for $16 or a 64 ounce growler for $26. All right, let's show you guys around this place a little bit, shall we? Back here with the Asian, what were they called again? Let's see. Let's see exactly what they're called. The Asian style loaded fries. Now, the Asian style loaded fries have uh, chashu pork, sriracha, cilantro, and garlic miso mayo. So, of course, we got the sriracha on the side because the wife does not like spicy. But check those out right there. Very uh, beautiful. These were $11 hairs for this. These are pretty good, actually. Nice and crunchy. I'm just going to take some pictures for Instagram. You can definitely taste that Asian-style uh, sauce there. Not trying anything else on the menu yet. I would definitely recommend it. Especially if you just kind of want to come and snack a little bit. All right, having a couple beers. This would be really good tonight. We have the Wagyu Burger. Show that to you there. Let's unbun it. Take this jank out here. Go ahead and unbun that bad boy. There you go. Pour some more fries. And then the wife got the pill boy. Show you that pill boy there. Cool boy. It's a nice uh, seasoning on the on the shrimp there, and that's a little house salad she got with it. She's gonna take some pics for Instagram, and then we're gonna dig in. So, Wagyu burger, fourteen dollars. Cheese fondue, dunkel bacon sauce, beef bolognese, lettuce, tomato, onion on a brioche bun, and then the wife got the po boy. Tartar sauce, hoagie roll, and then it comes with your choice of a side of uh, fresh green Caesar or fries. Does it? I don't know if you heard that, but she says the bun tastes like it's made fresh. Here's one of the shrimp there, and the po' boy. Lots of Cajun spices. Finish this beer up. Maybe order another one. Maybe sit out by the fire. Or is it too cold? Maybe we'll sit out by the fire. Maybe we'll sit here. Not sure. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned. A tequila barrel aged uh, sour. It's actually pretty good. Pretty decent. You want to try it? I was just taking pictures. Just taking pictures of the Instagram. And if you're not on our Instagram yet, check out the links down below. We're going to link those and our Facebook. And while you're doing that, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like icon. Give us a comment down below your favorite brewery where you're from. Maybe we'll make it there one day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade beers right quick. 
She's gonna try mine. I'm gonna try hers. This is the um, pastry house. It's pretty good. She does not like that one. She's not a fan of tequila. Or yeah, we're sours. All right, well, we're gonna sit here, chill, enjoy these. Hope you like this video. Of course, if you did, I just told you. But make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, share the video. It really helps us out. Uh, if you're local in the area and you are a restaurant owner and you'd like us to come by your place, uh, leave us a. We'll, we'll put our email down below so you can uh, give us an email and let us know. But other than that, appreciate you joining. Trip it ain't easy. Show is fun. Thank you.